Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 5 for the NES Part 3. And today we will do Gyro Man, Crystal Man, and hopefully Napalm Man. But first off, Gyro Man. Let's do it. In a safe state. Yeah, Gyro Man's not too tough. Gravity Hold's gonna waste him easily. His stage, on the other hand, is sort of tough. You'll see what I mean. Anyways, let's head right. And immediately we board an elevator. Which just takes us straight up into the sky. And continue on to the right, and now we have to return these shield sniffit robots. Come on. Raise your shield so I can shoot you. There we go. Oh god, we got these things again. Oh, I hate these. Ah! Oh man, I hate those purple. I really hate those things. Ugh. Compared with those shield sniffit things, it just makes this level even more of a bitch. I gotta charge up less so I got more room to hit him. There we go. Ooh, okay. Jump up here, avoid you, and go up the ladder. And watch out for these buzz saws. They make a return from Wave Man stage. Pretty easy to dodge here, too. Oh, we got these things again from Stone Man's area. Alright, let's jump over here. Oh god, the robot chickens are back from Charge Man's level. Hit this chicken in the head. Alright, chicken head, time for you to die. Extra life, uh, why not? Whoa, hoo -hoo, barely dodged that guy. I hate how Mega Man robots end up respawning when you shoot them. So annoying. No! No, you didn't see that. <laughs> No, what the hell with you? Get down here, I'm shooting you before I make a jump. I don't want you rushing me. Oh god, I really hate the respawning in this game. Very annoying. I hate having to worry about enemies while I'm making jumps. It's not fun. Oh god. See, my aim is just lousy in this game. Or pretty much in all the Mega Man games on the keyboard. I just don't have time to react. And I can't react very quickly on the keyboard, that's the problem. Alright, we would have got him with the charge shot there. Hurry up, Buzzsaw, move! I don't want to waste any time here. Save, and continue along. Love the music. <laughs> yeah, watch out for all the cannons and the flying cylinder robots. And slide! Ooh, I'll dodge you, thanks. And save as we continue up here. Yeah, watch out for these spike faller robot things. And save, because we're going to be coming across the letter. Whew, okay, you got the letter. That's what I wanted. Those platforms fall hella quick, so you really got to be, you really got to move fast. And I'll go up another elevator while trying to dodge in some death spikes. Not always the easiest of feats to do. Whew. Oh boy, that was close. Okay, we got to the top safely. Save. Oh, oh boy, it's the return of the killer traffic lights shooting beams. Seriously, those things remind me of traffic lights. I don't know why, but they do. <laughs> and they shoot out two beams in different directions. And what do we got down here? Oh, a, can a gumball cannon shooter. And just like that, we're at the end of Gyro Man stage. Let's get the gravity hold, save, and get ready to fight him. Yeah, three minutes in, too. Not bad. We probably can finish the last two Robot Masters. And Gyro Man should be easy to take out. Whack him with a gravity hold, dodges uh, little boomerang blades. And you can dodge him even when he's in the air, so... Ow, he landed on me, bastard. Well, he's dead now. Ha ha ha. Alright. Two more Robot Masters left. And now we get Gyro Man's blades. Woop. <laughs> I love the teleport noise in this game. You got Gyro Attack and Rush Jet. <laughs> Gotta love it. Stage select, here we go. And now we're heading to Crystal Man's level. Oh boy, oh boy. And Crystal Man's stage I absolutely dislike. And there is one part in particular as to why it makes me hate this stage, and you'll see it in a moment, folks. 
Here we go. Uh, no, it's not those uh, robots. I wish it were, <laughs> but it's not. And I remember Det Fan playing through Mega Man 5 on Crystal Man's level, and man, oh man, he did not like it, and I can't blame him, honestly. And we're closing in on that part very quickly. And right after this robot, it will appear. Yes! The Crystal Shaft! Oh, dear God! But thank God I have the power of safe state. And the trick to clear in these is you want to jump the second a crystal falls past you from that shaft. That'll guarantee that another crystal doesn't fall on top of you and kill you. So the second a crystal falls, make the jump. See? You'll barely clear it. And now we got Flip Top coming out. Hopefully it gives us something good. Energy tank! Thank you, Flip Top! Alright, let's go up this crystal ladder. Yeah, unfortunately that's not the last we see of the crystal shafts. They're gonna be back. Actually in this part right here. I'm gonna kill some crystal skeletons. Wait for them to fire off the crystals and shoot. But thank god we got save states. And again, second a crystal falls, jump. And jump. Ooh, okay. I think I got my timing down pretty nicely with that. And another crystal skeleton charging up. Unload. Save. And I got one more crystal shaft. Once we get past this one, we're free and clear. Save again in case I screw up. And second a crystal falls past jump. Alright, made that one. Save. Okay. And get up there. Get past that dust sweeper enemy. Now we got some wheelies coming at us. Shoot them. They die in one hit. So they're not too menacing. Hey, we got the shield enemies. I remember these guys from Mega Man 4. Oh god, they appear everywhere in this stage. And fall down here. Ooh, energy tank again. Yes! Oh yeah. Ow! Bastard game dropped me on those helicopter skeleton guys. Ah, oh, you dust bloomer thingy. You die. And he's got the rush coil out. Yeah, the rush coil is a little different in this game. Rush looks like a plunger. Why am I not hitting him? Oh, there we go. Probably a little tricky getting on top of him in this game. Alright, get the mega tank. Dodge this mouse. Ah, crap. Oh my god, so many enemies on screen! Lag! <laughs> Too much! Alright, let me save here because there's actually a letter in this shaft I don't want to fall and miss. Eh, it was actually pretty easy to get, come to think of it. Alright, shoot these little, uh, sensor enemies and save again. Yeah, we're nearing the end of Crystal Man's level, not too much left to go. I'll kill these sensor enemies before they approach. Yeah, get all my energy back. Save again! Ah, crap, I didn't see you coming! Alright, got my hit back, thank god. Oh boy! And slide! Woo! Run! Alright, got got the Crystal Man's Lair safely, and now whip out our gyro attack. This is gonna put Crystal Man in his place. Alright, Crystal Man, let's do it! Oh boy. Gotta dodge all of this crystal fire. Stop jumping around, Crystal Man! <laughs> oh, he's pulling a Toad Man now, yay. <laughs> that made it easier. Alright, seven down, one to go, folks. And we got plenty of time to spare to cover Napalm Man's level, so hooray. And now we get the Crystal Eye weapon, and that's gonna be a great one. You got Crystal Eye! Oh yeah. You know, I miss Crystal Pepsi. Seriously, I don't know where I got Crystal Pepsi from Crystal Man, but I just did. <laughs> Anyways, folks, here we go with Napalm Man, the final Robot Master. Before we go to Proto Man's castle. Napalm Man, oh boy. And he seriously does bring the heat. And so does his level, which happens to be kind of like a tropical paradise. And, oh god, these stupid tiger... Let me start all over. Ugh, running into these tigers badly. Okay. Save state. Let's charge our shot up before we attempt to... There we go, smited the tiger off screen. Sort of. Yeah, we're gonna try and stay a good chunk off the screen so we can... I'll die, you stupid tiger! Yeah, watch out. These tigers do a good chunk of damage. You really want to avoid taking too many hits from these things. Fire charge shots ahead until you get rid of them. I'll fall down here. 
Alright, I thought that tiger was gonna jump again, but it didn't. Save. Oh god, we got the tools in a gun turret. And we got killer moth robots. God oh, damn it, I couldn't jump over it. Ah. Alright, I gotta watch out for these drill cans. I don't think they one-shot you, but you want to keep shooting ahead to make sure they, they explode. You don't want them to cut you off in the passageway. And they keep respawning, so be sure to keep shooting. Go, go, go! Don't stop! Alright, now we gotta go up this ladder. And Napalm Man's level is pretty cool. Hey, you can walk through the wall here and get an energy tank. Hooray! Energy tanks are a win. So are Mega Tanks in this game. Mega Tanks actually refill your life and all of your weapon energy, and that's pretty nice. Oh god. Sensor robot. Woohoo! Go, go, go! I'm gonna try and kill this guy from the ladder. Whoa, he almost knocked me in the pit. Oh man. Save. Because we got more of those stupid sniper Joes and the helicopters coming at us. Oh, come on! I couldn't shoot my charge shot off in time. Ugh! Come on! God dang it, man. Ugh. Great. Uh, I finally got cleared out some enemies there. Oh my god. You die. Stupid sniper Joe. Hurry, hurry, go, 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 go. Ooh. Got up here quick. Oh, flip top. Hopefully it gives me something good. Eh, I guess I'll take the extra life. I'm not gonna be too greedy with energy tanks, so I got enough right now. Oh god. God, I just cannot... I can only shoot like once to time my bullet shots. Yeah, sorry folks, I gotta do this because my timing is bad. <laughs> okay, save as we jump across this spike pit. Again, instant death spikes. Doesn't take much. <laughs> Alright, killed that robot. And we got the end coming up, let's grab that. And, now that we have all the letters, we get B. A very epic ability. Beat helps you pound on regular enemies or boss enemies. Whatever enemy you want him to kill, he will go after. And Beat is just amazing in this game. And he will be very useful for later. Now watch out for these uh, missiles too. They cause shrap and they'll cause shrapnel when they uh, blow up into the wall. Oh god. Go! Oh, whew. invincibility frames for the win. Otherwise, it would have been one-shotted by those spikes. Yeah, don't jump slide to get there. Whoa! Hey, you want to stay against the wall? You want to hug the wall? Oh god, forgot about that son of a bitch. You know, stupid silver missile enemies will try and come out and hit you. Kind of like the surprise enemies of Mega Man 5. Oh, I got some energy back. All right, watch out, they come back here, those silver missile enemies. And you can't kill them, so don't bother. Just wait for them to come up and then just continue. I don't think the last pit has any, but I'm just gonna make sure. Okay. We're good. Let's get the crystal eye out. Alright, let's save a Napalm Man's room here. In case we fail with the crystal eye, but Napalm Man's actually pretty easy. Once you get him in a pattern, hit him with the crystal eye once. He'll do his little Napalm shot. All he'll do is just jump around and just keep doing that. Very easy to dodge him. Boom. See, pretty Napalm Man's a joke. One more Crystal Eye is gonna kill him. There we oh, I guess one more. Dead! And just like that, Napalm Man's finished. Hooray! We beat all eight Robot Masters. Now it's gonna be off to Pearl Man's castle for the next part. But first we get our last weapon, which is the Napalm... Napalm Crush? Napalm... Bomb? I don't know. You got Napalm Bomb. Okay, I guess I had it right there. Alrighty, folks. We're gonna call it a Let's Play part here, so stay tuned for Let's Play Mega Man 5 for the NES Part 4 when we tackle Proto Man's Castle. Later, peoples.